Welcome everybody. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change your strings on your classical or flamenco nylon strings guitar. First thing you're going to need are some strings. Pro Arte from Diodario are my strings of choice for their bargain price and also their quality. Second thing you'll need are some nail clippers. You'll want to cut off any excess string. Third thing you could use is a guitar tuner, especially if you're a beginner. You don't want to pop any brand new strings. Having a string winder will definitely save some time. All right, let's get started with the first string. You're gonna to wanna to start off with the sixth string, the low E, and if it was strung correctly, you're gonna to wanna to go counterclockwise. All right, so let's keep on going with the next couple strings. I like to take off all three bass strings first and restring those. That way, with the other strings, I can have a reference point when I'm tuning them back up. Now if you have any trouble taking the strings off the headstock or the bridge, feel free to use the nail clippers to just cut them off and just pull them out a little bit easier. Now is a great opportunity to clean up that fretboard. As you can see, I'm using a washcloth, just mildly damp to clean up excess gunk and dirt that's formed over time. If you want to do that extra step, you can also add some fretboard oil. Now let's get your strings ready. Start separating your strings, take off the little tags, now one rule of thumb is do not insert the strings from the bottom. I was told by a luthier that if you do that over time, you will just eat away at the wood on the bridge. However, if you go in from the top, only a couple inches will be passing through every time. So over time, that will make the difference. Okay, so once you insert the string from the top, you're gonna wanna pull out about a couple inches, give or take. Now you're going to want to go around it from the top, as you can see here, and we're about to go in through the inside now. So as you can see, you're going to want to go all the way to the bottom so that when we pull the string, you'll see that its own pressure is what holds it. So there's no need to make any knots here. Just make sure you have a little bit of excess string coming out there so that it doesn't slip but at the same time you don't want to have it too long because you can get some buzz from the vibration all right when you make it to the top you're just going to want to insert the string pull it up around and same thing goes here you're not going to need to make a knot all you're going to need to do is wind it around so that the pressure itself is what holds the string You can do one or two loops. I like to do two loops just to play it safe and make sure there's no slippage. Now just try to hold that string in place somewhat and here's where your string winder will come in handy. It will save you a lot of muscle and time. Now if you're looking at the guitar from this point of view or from the top, you're going to want to wind the string clockwise. Just make sure you do that with all the strings, otherwise you'll have a big mess on your hands and you'll be confused when you're tuning later. Now go ahead and give the string a couple plucks just to make sure it's on alright and no need to fine tune it yet. So let's keep going with the next couple strings. Same deal. You want to just insert it and then loop around it from the right to the left, over it, then you are going to go under it, inside. and. Make sure it's all the way at the bottom so that when you pull, the pressure is holding it. Same thing as we did with the first string. Remember, no knots. All right, so I'm just gonna fast forward through this section, but it's the same thing on the next couple strings. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the next three strings. So one little difference with these strings. These strings aren't coated, they're purely nylon, so they could tend to slip a little bit more. So with these, when you wrap them underneath, you're going to want to do a double wrap. So you go around and over just like we did with the other ones. And then when you go under, you're just going to want to repeat that under twice. So with that double wind, you'll have better support. Now when you get to the top, you could just repeat the same steps that you did with the bass strings. Just loop it underneath a couple times. No need to make any knots and that should work perfect. Another little tip to watch out for when you're winding the string, 
make sure you have it in the correct slot of the nut. The nut is right before the headstock of the guitar. It has the six slots where the, all the strings lay, so you just want to make sure if you're tuning the third string, for example, it's not stuck on the first slot. Alright, so let's just fast forward with these next couple strings. So when you're all done, one thing I like to do is give each string a little bit of a tug, just go down the fretboard. I think it helps stretch them out a little bit so that it's a little bit easier to tune later on. Another thing we need to do is cut off any excess string. If you have any excess string lying on the top of the guitar, you might possibly get a little bit of buzz from the vibration of the string on the top. So you definitely don't want to hear that. Now since you can't cut them too short, because you don't want them to slip either, I like to take it a step further and make sure I pull up all the strings so none of them are resting on, on the top of the guitar. Now, the same thing goes for the headstock. You want to cut off any extra leftover string to ensure it doesn't cause any buzzing up there either. Now, if you're afraid of one of the strings popping at a performance and you want to have a little extra slack for a quick recovery at a performance, then feel free to just wrap them up. So, your guitar is probably going to sound something like this after you string it up. Pretty horrible. So, let's tune up. So let's just keep in mind that after you tune up, it's still gonna take some time for the guitar to stay in tune. But after tuning a few times and letting the guitar strings stretch, you should be good to go. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial and joining me. If you liked the video, please hit that like button or leave me a comment. And if you have any questions, I'd love to help out, just leave me a comment. Thank you and until the next video.